Hello, my name is Walid and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be making falafel. Baby, you give me ice and fire. These are not your regular falafels made with chickpeas. These falafel are made with fava beans. A completely different recipe from the previous video. This recipe can also be called Egyptian style falafel. Let's look at what we have to do to get those delicious falafel. What you need to get is split shelled fava beans. About 400 grams. Wash them thoroughly under tap water until the water becomes clear and less foam. Once you finish cleaning the fava beans, soak them with plenty of water. The fava bean can take a lot of water. Make sure you have plenty of water in the bowl. The next morning we can prepare our vegetables. We have coriander leaves, parsley leaves, we have some young leeks, spring onions, and some garlic. Here I used about a hundred gram each. If you can't find young or baby leeks, now you can definitely use a regular leek, that's fine. But if you can find this type of leek, it would be great. As for the garlic, I use six cloves for the 400 grams of fava beans. Do the math. We will start our preparation process with the garlic. What we will do is crush the garlic and remove the middle stem since we'll be mincing all the fava beans and the leaves we don't need to roughly chop them we are just looking to remove the middle stem in the end this is what your garlic should look like since I have a small food processor I'll be doing the blending in patches don't worry too much about the accuracy of each amount since in the end we will be mixing them all together in a large bowl with the spices as you can see what we're looking for is a rough chop to help the food processor cut the vegetables and the beans together so no need to do anything finely chopped. If you are using a regular leek, you can use the green part and the white part together. As for the parsley and the coriander, we will be using the leaves and the stem all together. There is so much flavor in the stem. We will not be discarding them. We will be adding them in the, in the food processor. Remember, just before you fill in your food processor to the max, add in the beans to the max level.
blending the mixture together until smooth. Then dumping the mixture in a large bowl so we can do the second batch and mix in the spices. For the 400 grams batch we'll be using one tablespoon of cumin powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, and one tablespoon of salt. Once all the batches are done, for me and my food processor, it took about three batches to complete. Mix them well in the bowl to incorporate all the ingredients, and then add in the spices. To make the falafel a bit more crispier, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix all the spices with a spoon. Once you incorporate all your spices well, you need to set up your dough mixer and set the beater hook. Transfer the mixture to the dough mixer, setting the beater and whip the falafel mixture for at least 5 minutes. What we're looking to do is incorporate some air into the mixture. While the beater is doing all the work, we can start and heat up some oil for frying. We are looking for a deep fry. You can use any oil that you prefer for deep frying. After five minutes, this is what the mixture should look like. And now we are almost ready to start frying. If you're looking to make plain falafels without any garnish, we're ready to cook. Set them in the mold and drop them in the oil. If you are interested in the oil temperature for frying, it should be about 180 degrees Celsius. Now, if you're interested in adding some garnish to your falafel, I recommend adding some sesame seeds. So, once you have your falafel on the mold, you can just sprinkle them like that on top. And now you're ready to put them back into the frying. Just shake the excess back in the bowl. Baby, you me feel you whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here and Another garnish that you might like to add is crushed coriander seeds. Just like that. But those are added after the cooking process. You can sprinkle them after the falafel is done. To prepare the crushed coriander seeds, just add them to a ziplock bag and beat them with a rolling pin. Or if you have a hammer, just make sure that all the air is out of the bag so it doesn't pop open. We are not looking to crush them into a powder or a fine powder. We're looking just to open up the seeds. So just continue hammering through until the seeds are open. Continue cooking until you finish all the batch. That 400 grams of fava beans with a mixture of vegetables should give us about 30 
Rafut. Cooking them should not take more than three minutes on each side. Once you are done, this is what you should have. A mixture of plain falafel, some with sesame seeds, some with coriander seeds. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving us a thumbs up. This is my preferred way of eating falafel with some pita bread and some tahini paste. See you on the next video.